Today, we're going to be doing some high kill Warzone 2 coaching here, helping you become a better player, get more kills, and of course, pick up more wins. Now, before we jump in here, if you are looking to get better at Warzone 2, make sure you are subscribed down below. I was a 4KD player in Warzone 1, and I do videos just about every single day for you. Tip videos, gameplay strategy guides, loadout videos, basically anything that I can think of that will help you improve. Now, starting off here, my whole goal early game is an uncontested safe cracker. You know, I'm kind of in the middle about uh, Mazer City. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I really like Hydroelectric, but no is no safe cracker an observatory is going to be your really hot drop your prison in rebirth your peak in caldera your superstore in verdansk that safe cracker is most likely going to be contested so i don't really want to mess with that we're actually going to drop over here and add car village the whole goal my whole goal is to get off to a good start get a safe cracker get our cash up buy some primary guns get a uav and then we can start pushing again today is all about dropping higher kill games it's about the gameplay strategy the positioning and the execution and our rotations but it's also about how do we actually find this many people so we're going to go ahead and start off here with the safe cracker now one thing you'll notice when you look at the mini map and we are all playing together me rob easy c preds and mpx are playing together rob being a better player is going to go ahead and land on the safe cracker and he's going to really start that contract while me mpx and c preds are looting that's totally up to you it's a little bit more of a high risk high reward scenario you can definitely all land together and then rotate over now let me quickly define what i've as a high kill game we're not looking at individual kills we of course can do that at some point but today we're focusing on team kills i dropped 14 to 15 myself but overall as a squad we're gonna drop 45 kills total you know i think a 40 plus kill game as a squad is a high kill game on this map because of the fact that it's much harder to find people without unlimited uavs and you really got to work for those 45 kills you really got to execute and it is a little bit more high risk high reward with it being a traditional br so we're gonna go ahead first thing that i notice right here is we've got multiple teams around from the uav potentially three different teams around here that we're going to be working with now mpx is going to tackle this guy that's on our level and i'm going to go ahead and start to focus on this one over to the left now as we push forward just a little bit we're going to catch this guy up here and notice how many different angles he's getting shot from you can see that he's getting shot from multiple people c preds is down low so i'm going to go ahead and get this thirst by the way when we look at this mantling right here you can mantle really well so really use that to your advantage you when you're jumping me? as you can you can mantle pretty easily on surfaces even if you're the same level so we're going to get that kill now i want to talk about this scenario a little bit we're going to go ahead and get a team wipe right here in a second prez is going to get put in a bad spot but he's going to be able to work his way out of it and then what we're going to notice is we actually still get prox chat so if you get a team wipe but still get prox chat like that's something you have to be aware of that there are still more teams around the other thing you notice is the intent interrogation right there it's a huge advantage if you can do that to get more information you know that's the hardest part of this game is just getting information about where people actually are so if we have the ability to interrogate we definitely want to take advantage of that now as we push up here i'm going to go ahead and drop down we're going to loot up a little bit but mpx is kind of working his way to the safe cracker and he's going to end up getting somebody in that building i'm pretty sure so we're going to go ahead and push in as a squad here once again even though rob landed further away from us notice how we're all kind of back together to a certain extent we can at least cover for each other a little bit so we're gonna go in and work our way in here we're now we're gonna see what we can find now mpx comms that there is one here the biggest thing that i want to highlight here is just always assuming there's multiple people you know we're gonna tag that guy and this guy just comes zooming around the corner he has no intent on anticipating anybody he is full sending which is definitely what you don't want to do that's a pretty easy kill right there so all of a sudden i was off to a little bit of a slower start there hadn't really picked up much but we've got two kills right here we're gonna keep this game going and, and this is a longer game guys you know i thought about this the other day when i was doing my talking to somebody my coaching program is you know when we talk about dropping a 20 kill game the game's 25 to 30 minutes so realistically you're looking at about a kill a minute to drop a 20 bomb which we're going to start looking at that more and more how to drop these higher kill games individually as well notice the cash flow right here got pretty good cash flow now we're able to buy at least a loadout gun we're able to get a uav up which we're going to do in a second and when it comes to the team dynamic, you just want to weigh your floor loot, right? Some of the floor loot's better than others. If I've got a fully decked out TAC-5 or M4, as well as, you know, a, a Bass P or an AK-74U, maybe I don't need a loadout gun over somebody else that does. But I do end up grabbing one right here. We've got the Hurricane, which I really love. And we're just going to go ahead and play positioning right here. It's a little bit of a slower game. We're going to we'll drop that money so that we can buy another loadout. Preds is going to get his own loadout gun. By the way, right here, we get another UAV off 
the ground. So a little bit lucky with this early game, right? Because we had the early, we had the UAV earlier. We bought a UAV based on our cash flow. And of course, we find one on the ground. Now I'm going to go ahead and play high ground right here. You know, especially within these buildings, guys, high ground is going to be super beneficial. It's going to give you cover. It's going to give you a good angle. Right here, I see this guy flying in. Now you can see in the latency top left, like we're dealing with, this is one of those servers where right now we are dealing with a lot of lag. And it's a little bit unfortunate because you're going to, you're going to see this kill we're not going to be able to get this guy right here. I think it, I think we might down it, but we're just kind of waiting to see what we can find. Waiting to see what we can find. I go to reload, and now I see him jump. Look at him skip across the screen right here. You know, it's a little bit unfortunate that he's skipping all over the place, and he just, he just gets away. Now, this is a little bit of map knowledge. I'm going to pop UAV, and I want to speed this up just a little bit. You're going to see me try to get inside this building. Like, I know they're right on the other side of this wall. This is a little bit of just inexperience of the map. We're still learning how to get in certain buildings, but I'm going to check around this corner to see if I can get inside. This corner, can't get in there, can't get in there. Can't get, finally we get a doorway now we can start to push in but notice what you see right here on the mini map preds and mpx and i are all pushing together and we're going to trade really well here as i push up i don't have none of us have the one of those three plate vests so that's something we definitely have to keep in mind here because the ttk on us is going to be very very quick push around the corner claymore but notice who's following right so i drop down here mpx and preds are easily going to trade while i played up and notice they don't have them either so they've got to be keeping that in mind we're going to grab the fennec just because of that come on loot a little bit quicker we're going to grab the fennec just because of how good the fennec actually is trying to see what we can find we're still in a good spot right here right the, again map knowledge not really knowing that there's stairs around but mpx is going to go ahead and clean that up so i didn't pick up any more kills there but overall pick up a nice few solid kills as a squad i don't know if i checked the scoreboard too much i went back and kind of looked at our vod reviews to all four of us to see what the final kill count was but you'll see how these start to really add up now notice bounty contract right here got a little bit of information bounty contracts getting a little bit closer to us so we know they're in the vicinity other thing that i want to highlight is just the teammate dynamic right here you know uh rob easy actually drops or has an extra three plate vest so if you have the ability to carry an extra three plate vest in your backpack you want to be thinking about you want to be thinking about that for your squad you want to be understanding who has it and who doesn't and grab that bring that to them because overall that's going to give you a bigger advantage as a squad now right here we've got people backside this way so once again we're all going to converge and watch how we play this biggest thing that i want to highlight here is not forgetting that there are multiple enemies here you know it sounds very obvious but a lot of you get hyper focused on one kill or one down that you forget about multiple enemies so i'm just holding this doorway trying to see what i can find a little bit we're going to end up pushing out here we're going to kill a guy that actually dev air I'm pretty sure I'm like 99.9% .9 confident that he dev aired here in a second He's gonna be like walking into the truck as we push out Try to see what we can find. We know that they're across somewhere Just not a hundred percent sure just yet exactly where they are now as we push in We're gonna keep trying to find an angle. No keep trying to see what we can find We're gonna snag this guy. Oh, I jumped the gun with the dev air So as we're pushing in here, right? We're just looking to take a different angle Somebody's got the stairs covered, so that's where we push across right here, and now all of a sudden we can use this jump spot. Once again, notice what I said about the mantling, right? Really easy to mantle onto surface, and we can take this angle, and we get the team wipe right there. So another team wipe, we've got three kills. Now we got another team that's going to be rolling up on us, right? Look at the information right here. We've got the car right here. Little things like that you need to start being more aware of. And of course, we do have prox chat as well. You can see the prox chat going right here. So we know that another team's close by. I believe it's within 50 meters that we start to get that prox chat. Now, as I push down right here, this is where the guy's going to end up dev airing. Trying to see what I can find. Can't really see anything just yet. Yep, I hear him back behind me. And now you see him just running in there, right? So I'm pretty sure this guy dev aired. We're going to take the free kill. Not my problem. We've got four kills. We still got a very healthy lobby right here. And as I peek this corner, we got two guys right here. Now, this is really where I want you to pay attention to not hyper-focusing. I get smoked a little bit, right? So I've got to pull back. But watch how the, the enemies play this. The enemies put themselves in a very bad spot right here because as they push around, they're so focused on on calming and proximity chat and talking smack that they get it down and this guy just full sends right all i did was reposition a little bit that's a pretty easy kill right there right i push out i just take a different angle i'm thinking about how can i be a little bit unpredictable we're able to easily get that kill i'm still holding this still expecting one to be there and as we push across what's going to end up happening is rob is going to go ahead and clean up this last guy right here but i'm right with rob in case anything happens now we're going to go ahead and go for the res so over there overall there 
Let's settle back in a little bit. A few fights back to back. We lost MPX, but MPX won his Gucci. Came back in, picked up that free kill or two, right? When we talk about Gulag. And I'll leave that video for you at the end, guys. If you are struggling in the Gulag, make sure you check out that video. It's basically breaking down how my thought process and how we can, instead of being the $4,000 teammate that's always needing to be bought back, let's focus on how we can start to win those and be picking up free kills. Now, as we're pushing up here, I believe we get Prox Chat once again, right? So we pull back just a little bit preds is going to end up getting caught a little bit out in the open we get a uav we get the truck pushing in so that's what it was we get the truck pushing in here we know there's multiple teams around so now we start to focus guys when we are approaching fights it's all about covering you are going to see that right here is i'm in a really good spot i've got a really good angle but i also have a ton of cover we're going to get that down we're going to be able to get the down over here and now as I'm going to get this thirst and reloading, I get caught a little bit out in the open, right? I'm a little bit susceptible right here, but I have a ton of cover. I'm not pushing in just yet because I obviously have the UAB. Now, quick thing that I want to highlight here, two things that you should notice. First of all, we've got two teams, including one over to our left. Now, even though we team wiped, we still got the team to our left. The other thing is look at circle, right? We've got a long rotate right here. So as we're pushing up, we're not going to worry too much about those guys just yet. We hear the buyback, so we're going to go see what we can find. We're just going to venture over this way. We heard the buyback right there. We've got the UAV. And right about now, guys, we're thinking about rotations, okay? So a lot of you will be so tempted to fight this. Now, we just bought back again, so they definitely know we're here. Or we just bought back. They bought back the first time. We bought back the second time, so they know we're here. But we're just going to rotate early here, guys. We're going to get ahead of them. And a lot of times, you can get free kills simply by holding them out of circle. So they pop UAV. We've got seven kills, by the way. So we're not off to a bad start right here, right? We've got Preds. Uh, Rob Easy's in. Let's go ahead and just rotate forward. By the time we rotate forward, we're going to be in a better position to actually hold them out. Oh, I, we, we looked at kill counter right there. Okay, so right here, we've got 21. We've got 24 kills already, guys. So even though I only have seven, as a squad, we're on a very good game thus far, especially because it's still early. We've still got 80 other enemies still alive here. We're definitely on good pace. So let's go ahead and focus on getting into circle. Now, right here, we're always thinking about UAVs. You know, you can only buy one at each buy station, right? So if you rotate to a buy station, the first thing that you want to do, especially if you have cash, is go, can we get a UAV right here? Now, on this UAV, we don't have a ton of information around. But look at this, guys. When you see one person, you want to be thinking there might be multiple people around there. So we probably could have a team here. We probably could have a team rotating behind. We've got one flying in. Because keep in mind, we're high. We're very, very high up in terms of... Um, in terms of being an observatory, right? It's kind of the highest point of the map. So anybody that's above is probably flying in. Now, we, I drop money back behind. I think we end up deciding to go here with... Did we decide... Oh, I don't have any cash. So I drop the... I pick up the money and then I drop the money. Now, we're going to go in and push forward right here. We know that there are teams over here. So one of the biggest things that you need to work on is remembering information. I want you to really work on this next time you drop in. So when you have multiple pings on UAVs, don't forget where people are. Because a lot of times what ends up happening is we get a team wipe or something. And then we end up having to wander again because we don't really know where anybody is. If you're remembering information, anything at all. If you hear shooting, if you have a UAV and see multiple teams, if you see a buyback anything at all you want to be thinking about okay let's go rotate that way now we know that there's people over here right we knew that there were people over here from the uav so we're just going to try to see what we can find now we don't want to be too over aggressive here we've got a minute 49 and this is where i try to play a little bit more strategic and my whole thought process this sounds very obvious guys but just think about this if you don't play over aggressive and just put yourself in situations the kills will take care of themselves you want to stay alive, focus on one kill at a time. They will add up just by the length of how long these games are. Now, we're going to go ahead. This team's flying, right? But we ARs, you can't really beam anymore, guys. You really can't. Snipers are, of course, two shots, although some of them you can pop, pop pretty quick. But you got to be a little bit more strategic about your positioning, putting yourself closer to that 50 to 70 meter range as opposed to that 120 meter range like we could before. Uh, right here, guys, we just get precisioned, and I go pretty far away. This is, there's not, not a whole lot I can do here. I'm going to end up going down. We're going to fast forward through this right here. I've got self-revive. Rob's going to use his pistol on me right here. And we can go ahead and keep pushing forward. Now, as we're pushing forward, we're once again paying attention to see if they, they're flying. 
just can't really do a whole lot in that range right when we talk about approaching fights and positioning that's not the range that we want to be fighting in. that's not the ideal range to fight in although they're flying so if we take pop shots and something happens we're okay so we need to keep in mind that team right keep in mind that team we don't want to forget that that team is actually down there that's going to be vital but we also know that there's people back here remember that this team was back here rotating in now this could be the car team right here which we're trying to fry a little bit we just can't get a clean angle on that guy and they're gone so we're gonna go in and keep pushing around back trying to see what we can find and right here it's just about flying it's just we don't really know where anybody is we know the people are over to our left but we're really starting to think about positioning here guys we're really starting to think about end game a little bit more playing a little bit more strategic and by the way me rob and c preds all still have gulag so we're not in a terrible spot in terms of you know it's okay if we die but gulag closes after the fourth circle finishes closing so keep that in mind that's kind of your point of no return right there and now we're going to go ahead and start to rotate over this way biggest thing let's go get load out right we're not a hundred percent 100 sure where people are we've got to go ahead and act on this now before people start flying in on or people start rotating and make sure you take note of where these are these are going to be hotter areas especially in quads where you get people flying back in we're going to have a guy flying back in on us here in a second um just a minor thing guys when i go ahead and push up here to load out right like look at the angle that i take notice that i take a different angle from my teammates just so it doesn't get as congested just a minor minor thing we get hostile dropping in we flip right here we y y to get it ready we're able to fry that guy now let's go ahead and keep pushing right here the biggest thing you want to note right here guys is we're we were on 24 or something now we're on 25 or 26 not totally sure but the pace really slows down in this mid game this is one area where i really hope they pick it up but you still got to go about trying to find people enemy uav active we're trying to think about where that might be keep in mind we've already cleared behind us so let's go ahead and keep pushing forward here let's go ahead and try to see what we can find we know that there's people over this way right because just of where they were they were over there before they're probably still over there so let's go ahead we're gonna push forward a little bit now next up we're gonna pop a uav once again getting a little bit lucky and maybe that's the theme of today you know of course we do have good cash flow we don't have a buy station that's super close to us we have found a few uavs which is definitely super helpful we know that there's two teams up right here right immediately that's the first thing you should notice multiple pings here we got a team right maybe even three teams here based on dots tough to say because it's tough to differentiate eight but you could potentially have three teams here so we're actually going to 2v2 split right here i'm going to go ahead watch the patience right here i want you to notice the patience on the approach and how we're constantly pushing here but i see him i just don't have a good angle and i want to keep that element of surprise they don't know that we're pushing now one quick thing to pick up on look at look at the look at the mini map right here look at where circle pulled to so we know that we have a long rotate we're gonna double flash right here as we push in we're gonna clear there clear there now we know he's back in this corner we're gonna get that down in thirst now preds is with me notice that mpx and rob easy have pushed to the other side starting to fight those players so and we're okay with that guys all of the 2v2 split is get a knock start to figure out work as a team take a slightly different angle cover for one another which you're gonna see right here i still don't fully know where this guy is i think he's down low i also think i get shot from a different angle i have no idea preds is thankfully able to clutch up and he's gonna go ahead and keep save myself for vibe now we got 21 seconds till circle starts closing we're in a little bit of a weird spot we're gonna pick up a lot of kills here next up let's talk about holding people out of circle because we're gonna pick up a lot of kills by doing this this is the danger of rotating late is preds and i go let's go ahead and get ahead right here we're gonna we know there's people rotating behind us right we know that there's multiple teams back here and we didn't full team wipe this team over here so we got to be a little bit more strategic let's just keep rotating ahead and what you're going to see as we keep rotating and rotating and rotating we still got time right here still haven't picked up any kills still haven't picked up any kills looking for high ground right still haven't picked up any kills now all of a sudden now look at what we have right here we've got a bunch of people rotating in we've got nine kills and th then at this point it's just about executing i mean this rpk feels really good there's a kill right there there's kill number 10 we still know that there are people over here we hear the shooting and they're rotating with gas guys when you are rotating with gas gas moves very quickly it does a lot of damage and if you're trying to fight teams and fight gas at the same time you're going to be in a very bad spot especially when you start thinking ahead and going why don't i just hold all these teams out right so we're able to get a 
few tags on that guy not quite able to get the down we're gonna go ahead and keep pushing up and i'm looking at zone right i'm trying to be very cautious with where zone's pushing so that's another thing that i really want you to work on starting to think about you know where are people going to be how can we pick up a lot of free kills just by holding them out of circle? We pick up another kill right there. There's another down right there. So we started with nine. By the time we get through all this, we're going to get the another limb right here. There's kill number 12. So in the grand scheme of me picking up 15 and us picking up 45 as a whole, I picked up three very easy kills, very low risk kills right there, right? When you look at that, am I in any threat to really get beamed and go down? And even if I do go down, we have time to revive. So I'm, that's a very low risk situation where i put myself in a good spot we're able to pick up a bunch of kills and now we can go ahead and rotate out one thing that you're gonna have to do a lot in this game and by the way if you have made it this far thank you so much like i said make sure you are subscribed down below if you are looking to get better flying is going to be very very crucial in this game getting to that high point flying down to the next area that allows you to see a little bit more also allows you to cover a lot of distance allows you to not be susceptible to being fried from having to rotate on foot now right here we're in circle we're just kind of waiting to see where circle goes we hear some shooting over this way so let's go ahead and we're just going to wait to see where circle goes and now we can start to get back in here now we can start to figure out where people are again and we're down to 26 people so sir if there's gulag close so people can still buy back might still be some some stragglers in goosh but now we start to focus on this end game guys and end game is one of the hardest things to really and right there by the way i'm thinking okay do i buy uav or do i wait for rob and we do have plenty of money here right even if even if i buy uav you know preds and mpx can buy can buy rob back if he ends up going down but when we talk about end game guys what we're really really focusing on is in circle with cover then power position and there's two things that i really want you to focus on as we get a little bit later on is keeping everything in front of you and limiting this is the important one here limiting the amount of angles that you can get shot from if you're dead smack in the middle with limited cover and you can get shot from every angle you're in a very tough spot so that's what i want you to really focus on but if you have if you're dead smack in the middle and you have a ton of cover right say you're in a building dead smack in the middle then you're limiting the amount of angles because of all the cover that you have so that's the way i want you to really think about it and rotating early to get those if you have to right here i'm trying to figure out where this guy is i finally see that he's on my level now what's going to end up happening is mpx is going to go down but i am able to cover look at our spacing right here right we've got really good spacing i'm able to get that down i'm able to get that thirst we're able to get that revive off and we're still full strength but look at where everybody is look at how many people have to rotate into circle right here this is a lot of free kills for us i've got 13 right here we're gonna go in and start to challenge this guy but i don't want to get too over aggressive right this is where i start to say end game we slow down and if you followed along with me during rebirth right i always talked about rebirth because of the resurgence dynamic started once you know once end game, once uh resurgence ended once the resurgence dynamic ended sorry once the respawn dynamic ended however you want to call it that's when the game really began because up until that point we just had to survive as a squad now the game starts to begin and now it's much more high risk because it's you know you've got to be bought back so i'm not going to get too over aggressive here you're going to see me just play this and we'll speed this up to like 3x where i'm just trying to see what i can find i'm not really playing too over aggressive here trying to play in circle and i don't care about kills guys at this point right i've got 13 we were definitely on a heater as a squad like i just want to get the win the win is what i'm most focused on now i don't want a four kill win don't get me wrong like i still want to drop high kill games but I, I when we get to this point right here like no matter how many kills i have i want to clutch up this dub instead of just kind of going and, and full setting for for kills so now we're going to go ahead and rotate back right here we've got 10 other people by the way six other teams so just based on math like we are in the strongest position possible right here we have a full squad we have the advantage right here there's six other teams 10 other people and now we're going to start to think about okay where do we want to be and how can we get there where do we want to be we want to be in one of these two buildings if not both of these buildings because it's really the only place with cover right that's the most important thing is in cover then we focus on power position or in we're in circle we've got cover and then we focus on power position which happens to be here now look if there was a if there was a house down here right let me let me map this out a little bit further if you put a house right on my mouse right that is in circle with cover but if we were to weigh the different options right here i'd much rather be in this building than in this building that's where the power 
that's where the power position dynamic comes into play and why I don't just forget about that. But in circle with cover is the most important. And now we can just start to hold people out of circle. We've only got eight other people left right here. So we definitely have the advantage. Yep. Got one guy out in the open. Unfortunately, just missed a few shots right there. Then what ends up happening is we get precision. Now, I'm a little bit... I'm still a little bit scared from what happened with that pre uh, precision airstrike at Observatory. So I'm going to play this a little bit more cautious. Notice Rob and MP are playing a little bit more aggressive. That's okay. They're kind of taking a different angle right here. They know that they have to rotate in. I canceled that Semtex because I figured it was just going to be a waste. We're getting precision, so let's go ahead and pull back right here. Now, let's really focus on this next circle, right? Once this next circle goes, is where we really have to start to focus on in this end game and figure out what's our next move right here. We can still hold people out of circle. There's a kill right there. We're in a 4v5 situation with two other teams, and I'm balancing both of those. One down below. Now we're going to go in. There's a team wipe right there. So now we know we're in a 4v3 situation. Not only that, but guys, think. look at this circle right here. 4v3 situation. Where is the only place they could be? Right? Like, honestly, think about this. Look at the mini-map. Think to yourself, where is this team going to be? They're going to be on this side of the map. They're going to be rotating in because we already cleared this whole entire side. We cleared this building. We cleared this wall. We've cleared this side right here. they got to be somewhere over here. So that's immediately where I start to think. Now, right here, notice that when we talk about in-circle with cover and power position, this one's a little bit tougher. And knowing it's only three people, we want to act before we actually get the, before this circle starts to close, right? Because everything's kind of out in the open. So we've got to be able to act on them quickly and kind of take advantage of the fact that we do have a lot of cover right here. Now, I think I end up going down to my own flashbang. Fun fact, you can actually go down to your own flashbangs, but I've got self-revive, so it's not a big deal. Also gave away their location. So all of a sudden right here, we're going to quick plate up. We're okay. Don't need to rush right here. I see the sniper, and I'm just coming to them. Okay, there's the sniper down below. We're going to go ahead and push. We're going to drop. Know that you cannot take a... You don't take a ton of fall damage, so I took a little bit there, but it's not a huge issue. We're going to go ahead and slide behind the rock, and now we just need to hit shots and execute right here. We're going to go ahead and Semtex. We're going to flash. We're going to Semtex again. We're just going to kind of put the full pressure on them right here. Just absolutely overwhelm them, knowing that we can't get shot from this angle, right? It's only us versus them. So right here, MPX is going to get that down right there. He's going to get, get that full kill. One enemy alive here. We know he's backside this way. MPX basically said he revived back behind us. We're going to get that kill, guys. So I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.